Hello and welcome to the Kemper Cards app overview. The Kemper Cards are produced by Epax and the app is for the Android operating system. The version we're working with today is optimized for tablets. What that means is the graphics are optimized for the larger display. It is exactly like the phone version though. Let's start the app and we're presented with a splash screen while the app loads. When the app is finished loading, the splash screen goes away and we're presented with the main screen. The main screen shows us all the functionality that's available to us in the app. Let's start down here in the lower right hand corner with the About section. The About section basically shows me the splash screen and what version of the app I'm working on. The next section is the Credit section. This section shows me all the people that we wish to thank for their help in the development of the app and the Kempo cards themselves. Let's skip preferences for now, we'll come back to that and let's talk about study a card. Study a card allows me to study a specific card and only one card. So as I begin to type a card name you'll notice that the list filters to all the cards that are available in that, in that group of characters that I've selected and as I begin to type more and more the list will filter down. So let's go to delayed sword and I'll presented with, be presented with the technique Delayed Sword. At this point I can go to the front or the back of the card by swiping side to side and when I have more than one card I can swipe up and down but that functionality is not available to me right now because I am only looking at one card. Now if I leave this section and I want to come back into it you'll see that Delayed Sword is presented to me again by default which allows me to quickly go back to the card I was studying. The next section is the selection screen. The selection screen by default is empty but what it allows you to do is select any number of cards that I wish to look at over and over and over again and down here in the lower right hand corner allows me to immediately select all the cards in the list or clear all the cards in the list. So let's choose a couple of them. Sword of Destruction, Checking the Storm, Intellectual Departure, and that's throwing Dance of Death. So now as I go through the list, you'll see that only the techniques that I chose are presented and I can look at both the backs and the fronts. And now the side to side and up and down swiping is available to me. Nice feature about this is that once I leave the app and come back in, this list is saved for me until I change the list. This allows me to select very specific techniques that I wish to work over and over and over again and the app saves them for me. So let's talk about what's down here at the bottom. We have say names, randomized list, and number of people. Say names allows this list to be played for me. This list will be played from start to finish and the number of people that are participating in the execution of the techniques is, is available here. By default it'll be just you, but I can increase it to say two people so that me and a partner are practicing now as I begin to play the list, I'll be presented with the first technique in the list, gives me enough time to execute it, and then allows time for the next person to execute the technique. When they have enough time to execute it, we move on to the next technique. And a nice feature of this is if I need to pause for any given period of time, I can pause the list. And then when I'm done, I can then the restart that list. Another feature about restarting is I can just swipe to move on to the next technique and let's say I skip the technique by accident I can just swipe and go back and restart that technique over and over and I can do that throughout the entire list. Okay, The next nice feature about this is randomized list. At this point what I can do is you'll notice that the list is randomized, which does exactly what it's supposed to do. But if I leave and come back, you'll notice that the list is now in a completely different order. That's a nice feature if you want to do these four techniques, but you don't want to do them in the same order, order over and over and over again. Another nice feature, if you notice how we have this set up and we leave this section and we go into the next section, you'll notice that my settings are persisted between those two top sections for sorting and playing the list. Now this is by far the most powerful section of the app. This allows for very complex sorting. What do I mean by that? Let's say I want to select techniques that are only from 12 o'clock 
and are only against kicks. What you'll notice is as we go through the list, everything is from 12 o'clock and is against a kick. I can then say different types of sortings for different types of things that I want to do. I can say anything that's off of a weapon with the attacker's right foot forward and off of a right attack. You'll notice that I'm presented with techniques that do just that. As you can see, this sorting can be very, very complex and it allows you to specific specifically work techniques that only you want to see for that specific grouping. Another interesting thing is at any level. What does that mean? If I start here at the primary relationship and I say I want to work only techniques that are related to five swords but only at the primary level and I start browsing it, you'll notice that only the techniques with the star at the top are there. If I say at any level and I browse again, you'll notice that techniques are presented where they're anywhere inside this list. Another nice feature down here is weapons. By default we exclude the different weapons but I can say I want only weapons. Not only can I say I only want weapons, I can then say what weapons I wish to see. So for instance if I only want to see the gun techniques or the rod techniques, you'll see that I'm only presented with the rod techniques. I could also say stick only and you'll see that I'm only presented with the sticks. Or I can say any weapon and I'm presented with only weapon techniques. The next and interest, interesting part here is start at this card. Start at this card allows me to skip very specific techniques. I can say I don't want to start at Delayed Sword which is normally the first card. I can come down here and say hey I want to start at Thundering Hammers. So now if you notice as I play the list I will start at Thundering Hammers. What we'll do is we'll go back to Delayed Sword to start at the beginning. The next thing I can do is Two Man. By default we exclude the Two Man techniques but I can say I only want to do Two Man techniques so if I only want to practice Two Man techniques that's what I can do. I'll only be presented with the two-man techniques. And I can say form techniques. What does this do? What I can do is I can say I only want to do techniques that are inside forms. So I can say any form and I'll be limited to the techniques that are inside any form or I can say only techniques that are in a specific form. So I can say short form three. And you'll notice that not only am I only presented with the techniques in short form 3, but they're presented to me in the order that they're executed inside that form. Last but not least, what we can do is we can combine the start at this card and combine it with a, one of the preferences we have here and my highest technique. What highest technique does, by default, puts me at the bottom of the list. All the techniques that are presented in the Kempo cards. But if I'm not a black belt, I can say I don't have anything above parting wings. So now all the sorting in the Kempo card app will be limited to parting wings as my highest card. I can then come back. You'll notice that parting wings is now at the top. I can say I learned a couple more techniques and now I know up through circling wing and now all the sorting will be limited to circling wing as my highest card. The top part of the preferences will limit the yellow belt cards you see. Um, in the 80s the Infinite Insight series came out from Mr. Parker and a couple of the techniques were modified for yellow belt. This allows me to include or exclude old yellow belt techniques or new yellow, techni yellow belt techniques or see both the old and the new. By default, you get to see both the old and the new. The last option here inside preferences is how fast I wish to play the list of techniques that I have selected. As we were going through with the play list, this allows me to speed up or slow down the list 
as it's played to me. So if I like doing my techniques fast, I can come and speed it up, but if I like doing my techniques slow, I can slow it down. And if I leave and come back to the app, the app will remember my preferences. That concludes an overview of the Kempo Cards app. We hope you have many hours of enjoyment and study of the app and the cards themselves because that's what they were produced for. Thank you for your time.